Welcome to Urban Knife Guy, where we discuss knives for city dwellers. Today we're going to have a look at the CRKT Sketch and see if it makes for a good urban EDC knife. That is everyday carry. CRKT, also known as Columbia River Knife and Tool, was founded in 1994. They collaborate with the best designers in the world to give their customers confidence in hand. This knife, the Sketch, was designed by Lucas Burnley of Orleans, Massachusetts, who also designed the popular Squid Folder. The story is that he made a New Year's Eve resolution to design a new knife every single day. On day 69, the M69 custom knife was created and this knife was remained or renamed the Sketch for the CRKT production version. Let's have a look at the box first. A very simple box, uh, standard with all CRKT knives. If you open it, we get the knife in a plastic bag, some product information. Let's take out the knife. And right off the bat, you can see it's very distinctive in its look. And those green anodized parts really make it pop as well and make it look quite different. There's an overhaul there. We can pop that open. It is a frame lock. But before we go into the specs of the knife, let's uh, compare it with some knives that you might know, such as the Spyderco Para 3. Another CRKT knife. This is the Pillar 3 in D2 steel. We have the Ontario Rat 2 and the Buck Sprint Select. And finally, as usual, an Altoids tin. Let's have a quick look at the specs of the CRKT Sketch. As mentioned, the knife is designed by Lucas Burnley for CRKT and manufactured in China. The blade length is 2.89 inches long, the close length is 3.94 inches, and the overall length is 6.69 inches. The weight for this knife is 3.7 ounces or just under 105 grams. Now let's talk about the blade steel. This is 8CR14 MOV, which is a high carbon chromium stainless steel. This is a slightly better version of the 8CR13 MOV. After heat treatment, which varies from company to company, it has high hardness, great wear resistance, and excellent corrosion resistance. Many knife companies now use this steel to make budget knives. The 8CR14 performs like the Japanese OS 8 with less corrosion resistance but slightly better wear resistance. Now let's talk about the blade style. In the product description, they call this a one cliff. But at the same time, in the body of the text description, they call it a modified sheep's foot. And they also call this a K-tip style blade. So many different names to describe this blade. It can be quite confusing. Personally, I call this a modified sheep's foot, maybe with a belly. Uh, but what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. The blade finish is satin. It's got a plain edge. It's a high cyber grind or saber grind. And the handle over here is made of stainless steel and very nice uh, brushed look here. And I like the two-tone look, right, of this darker stainless steel. This is a frame lock, as mentioned earlier, and it's really nice. I think the action on this is good, and it's easy to push that frame lock out of the way to close the knife with one hand. I'm really happy because I've had not so good experience with a frame lock with the Pillar 3, which is also made by CRKT. When I first got this knife, this frame lock was so stiff, I actually had to try to really bend it and really work at it uh, just to open and close the knife each time. And now I can get that out of the way. It's still a bit stiff compared to the sketch, uh, but it's much better. And I've heard that the consistency of the frame locks for CRKT aren't very consistent, basically. Uh, but I'm very pleased with this one. Very nice action, uh, and that works very well. There is a pocket clip over here. And uh, the distinct washer and backspacer in this anodized green. And this is kind of a... What green would you call this? I guess some kind of a metallic lime green. Yeah, metallic lime green. I will go with that. Uh, overall, very nice uh, stylish knife. Uh, in terms of the blade, it locks well. Lockup is good. No blade play. There's jimping over there. Ergos are good as well. There's this natural finger groove, uh, which can just grip that knife quite well also acts as a guard i have small to medium sized hands uh, so i can put four fingers all around but i can imagine if you have bigger hands it's really going to go to the edge of the butt of the knife but overall i think it's pretty good no hot spots from the small pocket clip over there and definitely could really use this for 
all EDC tasks. Let's talk about how to carry this knife. As an urban EDC, this has a very nice slim profile. It's not too heavy. You can slip it in your pocket. I've pocket carried this a lot. Uh, walked quite a bit of it and really had no problem. I didn't use the pocket clip because it wasn't really deep carry, but you could definitely use the pocket clip. If you have an EDC organizer like I do for my other knives, you could use it. Now this I doubt would fit. Yep, it doesn't fit. But you could use, for example, one of these. This is the Art Company Rambler. And you could fit that into the back pocket. I'm sure that would fit well. You can put the pocket clip in just like that. And you have even space for something else, maybe a flashlight. Or I have a nice tactical pen which fits that stainless steel look. And that goes well pretty, pretty well together. This sticks out a bit much. Let's see if I can put it in. Or maybe I'll put it in. Okay, this way. Yeah, that, that fits all right, reasonably well as an EDC carry. So those are ways you can actually carry the knife. So the golden question is, does the CRKT sketch make for a good urban EDC? Let's first have a look at the price. The MSRP is $59.99, but you can get it from some dealers at $40. So that's a really good price and that's US dollars. Now I think this is a fashionable design. It's stylish and very budget friendly. You know, I think this would be really perfect for the creative types. You know, in my career, I've worked with many creative people from designers, graphic, video, fashion designers, artists, uh, entertainers. And I think that this is a knife that would reflect their creative personalities, especially if they're not big into knives, but would like a knife to fit their creative style and sense of fashion. So I think this fits very well. As an urban EDC, it's non-threatening. Well, maybe the blade might look a bit threatening but definitely if it's closed it looks uh, like almost a fashion accessory so very cool in terms of the look and of course those green anodized parts now i know some people may want a more premium steel but honestly this blade steel will perform well for all urban edc tasks but you should maintain the blade by stropping it after some use but what do you think do you think that this makes for a good urban EDC? Do you like the design? Do you think it fits for you or do you like something more tactical? Let me know in the comments below. Now, if you liked the video, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you like the content in general, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification button. As always, keep it folded, keep it safe.